Merry Christmas all you YouTube nail mother lovers. Welcome back to day 11 of the Madame Glam Advent Adventure. Roll the Christmas intro. Sorry to say, viewers, I'm dreading box 11 because yesterday was fucking foil gel. Great product, don't get me wrong. Today we've got foil. <sighs> Great. It does wonders for my mental health and my blood pressure to play with this stuff. Anyway, it is a coppery, goldy kind of muted satiny-ish color let's make some buckles you've seen the paperclip not the paperclip what's it called thumb clip thumbnail holy guacamole batman we're here <laughs> okay so we have base coated we have perfect red we have glitter red now we are doing a white stripe down the middle Sorry, I'm delirious. We are white striping down the middle. Um, I'm just laughing at myself with the thumbtack. Not thumbtack, thumbnail! Oh! <laughs> okay, so I took the bottle brush at the bottom. I'm just going to talk about nails because clearly I um, just can't. I just can't this evening. It's late. I've got my Toblerone. We're doing this. So here I'm trying to show you that you season your brush before you use it roll it around drag it through so that it's nice and juicy with the color that you want to use uh, and now I'm drawing a black line across the middle indicating the belt basically and because I was too lazy to top a buff to make it a flat surface it's gonna look evil evil foil gel remove the sticky layer so you remove the sticky layer before you put the evil foil gel on the nail um, and for this one I wanted a big fat fat chunky Santa belt so I'm taking a detailer and I am doing my best. I'm zoomed in for you. I'm doing my best to draw a box in clear liquid under light while I can't see. Here we go. Here's the little buckle pokey any bit. Flash it. Flash cure this. I cannot stress you enough. The bottle says, wait, hold that thought. We're going to do something now. We're going to put isopropyl alcohol to clean the back of the foil and watch it, watch it. Oh, satisfying. Right, so what was I saying? Yes, flash. You must flash cure this foil gel if you're only drawing skinny lines. The advice on the bottle is if you do a full coverage nail, and the advice says a one minute cure, if you do a full coverage nail, you want to cure for one minute but if you're only doing skinny lines flash cure it if you cure it for the whole minute it will basically over cure not basically it will it will over cure and it will lose its sticky uh, and you won't be able to get a lift off the um, foil whatsoever uh, so make sure oh under pressure look at this glitter at this glitter okay so during that whole rambling I outlined the belt I didn't need to really explain it because you could see that I was just chip chopping around the place outlining the belt um, as best you can when I'm being lazy on a surface that is not smooth <laughs> 
Oh, I sh I will do better. I will. From this day forth, I promise I will do better for you viewers. And not just be lazy because I'm pumping out 25 videos in... I think it was about three or four days I did all of these. Which is more than I've done all year. So, you know, it's just one of those things. Anyway, while I'm pouring out my heart and soul, I have rubber... Used a rubber base coat to even it out, and now I am applying the Madame Glam non stick top coat that we got on day two. Um, to finish it off, it's a non sticky layer, so give it a full flash, which is 30 seconds. Full flash! Oh my god! A full cure, 30 seconds, and now we have Santa. Look at the sparkles! It is so fantastic. Mm, so smooth. So smooth too. The rubber base makes a difference. And I don't have to buff because I'm lazy. Base coat. We got it on day one of this adventure. Perfect green. This color I think is raw. I think it's from their um, like Wizard of Oz collection. And it is an awesome green. Doing the same thing drawing a black line not across the middle this time a little lower because we're doing a elf we're doing a elf and maybe one day when i learn to shoot in shot you will see all of the things that i can paint but until then you'll get blurry vision and half shots <laughs> of all the things that i do oh dear yes it's been one of those adventures but anyway um what I'm drawing here is two swoops at the top and faffing with them, indicating the elf's little collar um, that's at the top. Filling in all the gaps and dragging out the bubbles. Where sometimes when you decant um, a color onto your palette and you've been rolling around in it for three and a half days like I have, uh, it can develop little bubbles. Um, the easy way to cure that is to decant more product. The cheap way of doing it is to <laughs> is to persist with your skanky three-day-old gel <laughs> and pull, place your brush in the bubble, uh, the little air bubble, and just drag it to the edge or poke at it until it pops. Um, or you can just decant more and you don't seem to have that problem. Yeah, it's a weird thing that I've discovered after however many <sighs> hundreds of millions of nails that I've done. Yes. So we've done the buckle on this and now we're moving into the foil jack. No, we're not. <laughs> it's okay. I only edited this five minutes ago and... Um, I've forgotten what I've done. We're giving him buttons. Grab your favorite dotting tool or your non-favorite dotting tool. It doesn't need to be. Give him some buttons. Flash cure all of that or yeah, you can give it a full cure if you want. Doesn't matter. You've done lots of elements by this stage. Um, but now I'm taking that under pressure glitter, uh, which is full of amazing bluish holographic flakes. I think it's bluish. Um, and then cure that or flash cure it whatever you want to do you can flash it it doesn't really need to be cured but you probably are best to give it a full cure because I'm that top coated because I'm lazy um, where I could have just buffed it or whatever because now we're do now we're doing the foil gel um, and I'm just doing real small detail lines with the foil gel which is always difficult with the small lines and using the dotting tool to place dots onto the buttons using the foil again because i'm cheap and i'm using the same piece i use for the buckle waste not want not i always say but i'm smushing the shit out of it because that's how you foil ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you smush the shit out of it. Oh, now I'm grabbing a silicon tool and smushing the shit out of it even more. Um, doing a rip off and getting a pretty good pick up for such fine lines. Um, I'm just showing you here, zoomed in a bit on the top of his collar, um, a pick up 
that if you miss it the first time you can just go around and flick 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 um, with the gel flick it off and if you have a weird spot that's all dirty take some IPA and just clean that shit up um, this again is a rubber base uh, to avoid the awful dust associated with the TBT that's a top buff top give that a full cure top coat and if you've enjoyed this manic rant please take a moment show someone some love and subscribe to this channel we work hard here at Claws by Cadence to bring you mediocre nails at a high cost price <laughs> here they are close up nice and shiny no yeah is it shiny yes shiny um and sparkly lovely beautiful santa and his little elf helper looking beautiful there thank you so much for joining me everybody and i will see you tomorrow for day 12 of the madame glam advent adventure see you then thanks